Welcome back to uh, Morning Live. Now, the public launch of the final report of the Task Force on Intersex Persons in Kenya was released with a raft of recommendations, among them recognition of intersex persons in the law. The report also recommends that the Ministry of Health, in consultation with relevant agencies, formulate specialized programs to provide for intersex persons care and protection in health facilities to facilitate their access to the highest attainable standard of health. Take a look. A 12th committee members appointed by the Office of Attorney General on Monday released a raft of recommendations that will go a long way into solving the plights of intersex persons in the country. The committee chaired by Njuguna Nganga has recommended the expeditious provision of birth certificates, identification documents, passports and other official personal documentation by including provision for intersex persons. Um, radical and stigma is so much uh, in our education system on intersex children and most of us usually uh, cannot be able to maneuver, especially those of us who cannot be able to maneuver through puberty while we are in the education system, the easiest option is dropping out of school. So it's an issue that really need to be addressed. The report also requires the legislature to facilitate review of laws to ensure equal treatment, respect and protection of the dignity of intersex persons within the criminal justice sector. The Minister of Health has also been urged not to perform any surgical and hormonal interventions for children in relation to their intersex status unless only on emergency cases. We must guide government, we must guide policy makers, we must guide administrators to give and make decisions that are of useful use to the persons who are suffering like the intersex persons. I was not baptized. Uh, the priest refused to baptize me because I was a hermaphrodite and therefore they did not know the way forward. The report is further urging the state to establish a fund to cater for all medical related interventions for intersex persons due to the high cost implications. The state has also been urged to ensure a free or subsidized medical insurance health cover under the NHIF or any other scheme for intersex persons. <laughs> On matters of education, the report recommends a review of the education curriculum in primary, secondary and tertiary education institutions with the aim of recognizing and infusing specific training in the syllabuses and training modules on sex development. The report further recommends the collection of accurate and verifiable statistics on intersex persons that will inform decision on having intersex persons as a third sex category. Kevin Sewe, Switch TV. All right, in studio right now, I'm joined by interperson, inter intersex person that is Komboka Kibagendi and Sydney Etemesi, who will be telling us about their journey and, of course, the inclusivity is our biggest agenda today. We want to talk about them in a society being included in all aspects of operation as far as now, even the uh, building our nation is concerned. Karibuni sana, Bwana Kibagendi and Sydney. Karibuni kukuka. Actually, shukra sana kufika studioni. Na, pengine utuambie, Bwana Kibagendi, gende wewe ukiwa mchanga uligunduaje kuna kidogo uko tofauti na wengine mm, nashukuru sana kwa sababu ya kupewa hii nafasi na switch tv mm, shukran um, ya kuenesa hii maneno na to ensure that uh, community yetu inaipata kwa usaa yeah. mm -hmm. vile inafaa mm -hmm. uh, mimi nimesaliwa nyumbani kisi mm -hmm. nimelelewa hiyo vyote then kwa mm, miaka chache wazazi wetu wote walikufa ikawa nimelelewa na shosho Ah uh, shosho tumekuwa na yeye tumekuwa na yeye mimi hakuna wakati mtu aliniambia directly kwa wewe ni intersex person mpaka mm -hmm. wakati nilikuja mwenyewe unajiuliza eh wengine wanakuwa hivi mtoto mm -hmm. msichana anakuwa hivi mtoto wa kiume anakuwa hivi na wewe ukui despite the fact nimeelewa kama mtoto msichana mm -hmm. kwa community ah mm -hmm. uh, so kukuwa kwa kidogo unapata hakuna mtu anayesauliza hiyo swali okay. na sana sana kwa tradition zetu kama wa Afrika mm -hmm chochote kenye una ficha ndani ya nguo mm -hmm. atuiongelele yangi sana yeah, yeah. so ikawa ni memaliza hapo lakini ukiwa pale tu mtaani mtu anaweza kutusi akitoa matusi kwa mdomo yake mm -hmm. unashangaa kitu ina maanisha nini sure. najua huyu ni yule mwenye alizaliwa huyu ni yule alizaliwa but ukijakulisia uswadi ndio mtu akujibu hakuna 
mtu mwenye anasa kwa ako na ile uwezo wa kujibu kweli mm -hmm. ndio ilifanyika hii kafanyika mm -hmm. so ikawa nimemaliza primary school nikaingia high school uh, high school mwanzo mwanzo nimeingia day school then kutoka hapo nikaingia mix school okay uh, challenges tu bado ni zile zile huyu mm -hmm. ndio nani mi napenda football sana yeah. nacheza football sana mm -hmm. then umeweka kwa timu ya wasichana pale unajaribu mm -hmm. kucheza watu wanashanga eh huu naye sasa ndio nani yeah. wewe yeah. ni msichana ama ni mwanaume yeah. yeah. so kumaliza high school sasa ikabidi sasa nianze kufuatilia eh hapana huyu mimi ndio nani okay but na mwenye unafuatilia umuulize hakuna so wewe unaelewa kama msichana kabisa mm -hmm. then ikawa sasa my best friend mwenye anasajua hii maneno yake mingi kwangu kunihusu mm. ni internet. Mm. Okay. Na ikawa ni wanataribu kuhuguli ni joeni organization gani ili naesa ni saidia saidi mm -hmm. kuchia understand. Mm -hmm. So kutoka hapa ndio nilipata organization yetu yenye okay. na ito chinsi yangu. Ok. Yeah. Alright. Uh, baby Sidney tuambie uh, hadithi yako ni gani kengine? <coughs> um, Mwanza unitashukuru sana kwa ajili ya hili na fasi. Karibu. Um, Mili mezaliwa Western Kenya. Uh -huh. <coughs> um, nilelewa kama mtu msichana okay. nikakuwa kama mtu msichana lakini kwa ule muda bado nikiwa miaka kama sita saba mm -hmm. hapo mm -hmm. nikiwa primary school mm -hmm. mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa na jihisi nikiwa tofauti okay. sikuwa na jihisi kama mtoto wa kike mm -hmm. nilikuwa na jihisi kama mtoto wa, wa kiume, kiume. Mm -hmm. na hata kuvalia kikazi zile kazi yule unasikia wasichana wanafaa kupika mm -hmm. wanaume wanafaa kuchunga ngombe mm -hmm. so mimi nilikuwa nafanya kazi za kiume nikiwa mdogo lakini sikujua kama i was intersex mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. hadi mm -hmm. nilipofanya class 8 mm -hmm. i was 13 okay okay ndio sasa that is mm hiyo -hmm. time ya puberty mm -hmm. sasa mm -hmm. nilianza kusikia nikiwa mm -hmm. attracted to mm -hmm. ladies mm -hmm. so hapo ndo sasa confusion ilianza okay sababu wazazi walinlea kama mtu msichana uh -huh. then sasa na uh -huh. mimi na vitu zile nafanya okay. nafanya okay. vitu za kiume una copy attracted yeah. to the ladies now uh -huh. so from mm -hmm. there ndio uh, wazazi wakaanza kuona kama ni kitu cha aibu mm -hmm. kwa familia mm -hmm. pia majirani walikuwa naongelelea sana mm -hmm. So wakaona bado wakae na mimi nikiwa naweka kwa maibu mm -hmm. na nini na nini wakanifukuza. So nikafukuzwa nikiwa 13 years na nikakuja Nairobi. Kuja Nairobi nilikaa kwa street around 3 years. Ndio nikapatana na ile hali ya kuomba omba kwa magari ile ya machokora. Uh, kwa, nikaenda kwa taxi moja kuomba na omba for 20 shillings at least ni pata kitu ya kula and yo nikakutana na a trans person kuniangalia hivi akaniambia au kai kama chokora wa kawaida kuna kitu ndani yako unaweza fanya kazi upate wenye unaweza jisimamia nikakubali cuz i was not fitting in cuz yeah. pale kwa street bado kuna harassment na nini na nini mm -hmm. so nilimfuata uh, nikaenda kwake then from there I can take care of me nikamweleza shida zangu then also aka open up akanielezea so kutoka hapo akaanza kunionyesha hizo organizations uh -huh. first of all niliingia uh -huh. kwa organizations as a gay and lesbians okay hiyo ndio hiyo ndio organization ilikuwa uh -huh. so far there was no organization working on uh, okay. intersex issues okay lakini nikawa join then through them ndio nikakuja kujielewa uh -huh na nikachukua time yangu kuji accept okay yes okay so um kumbuka tukiongea yes. about um vile serikali sasa imeanza ku kuwa na campaigns ile za kuahimiza watu wengi kwamba ni jambo la kawaida je sasa unafikiria je pengine mpango wa serikali toko upi kwa sababu vile sidi amesema yeye alikuwa kwa group zile za gay and lesbians yeah. Yeah. ziko mingi sana hapa Kenya pia nchini na uh, wewe kama kwa hali yako uli ulisikiaje vile serikali sasa ilikuja kwa nguvu kutaka pengine madaktari wasikuwa nafanya upasuaji ya mapema vitu kama hizo vitu kulikuwa na vitu mingi sana zile recommendations za, za serikali mm, asante sana Hakuna ile challenge zenye sisi upata kama activist intersex mm. activist kwa country mm. ya Kenya because nao tumekuwa tukifanya hii kazi mimi na Sydney mm -hmm. saini karibu 5 years. Okay. Wow. <laughs> tumekuwa wow. kwa community kufanya hii wow. kazi wow. create awareness. Hakuna mm -hmm. ile shida yenye sisi upata kama madaktari wetu kwa sababu wanataka tuwe normal. Mm -hmm. Kupitia kwa ku, kupitia kwa wazazi wetu kwa okay. advice mm -hmm. on the same but at the end of the day mm -hmm. ile 
ile shida yenye tunapata ni long term yeah, yeah. mfano mm -hmm. tuko na mtoto mmoja sahi ako 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 nyedi huyo mm -hmm. huyo mtu ni huyo mtu sahi ni 11 years huyo okay. mtu yeye alifanya operation mm -hmm. hiyo sacha immediately mm -hmm. wakati alisaliwa okay. ikawa huyo mtu sasa mdaktari wa kingangana kumsaidia kumfanya awe normal mm -hmm akawa wamegusa njia zake za mkojo okay. yenye mpaka saa hii mtu yu pitisha mkojo so tukienda kumuona kitu ya kwanza tumpa tumbebe pampas mm -hmm. then kutoka hapo mm -hmm. anataka kukula mm -hmm. msasi anataka kumleta kila mwezi okay. Nairobi mm -hmm. Kenyatta afanye apatiwe matibabu saidi mm -hmm. but at the end of the day ile shida yenye walikuwa anataka correct huko chini hawakuifanya mm -hmm. furi wakaleta uh -huh. more issues, issues. kwa mtoto mpaka mm -hmm. saa unapata life yake haiko sawa because kumbuka kuna ichine yenye mm -hmm. mzazi huko ushago chini hawa mm -hmm dilia maana ni aichi ya mtu so unapata end of the day despite mm -hmm. the fact that daktari wetu na wazazi wetu wanataka kutusaidia mm -hmm. kwa sababu wazazi wetu community zetu wanachoa ni mwanamke na mwanaume mm -hmm. So hawajui maneno ya intersex. Mm -hmm. But sisi kuomba kwetu kwao ni mm -hmm. daktari wetu mnataka kutusaidia yes. Mm -hmm. Na tunawapenda kasi nyinyi mnataka kufanya mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. kuacha ni consent. Kuacha mm -hmm. ni kubadiane na ile ma sacha yenye mnataka kunifanyia yeah, yeah. ni kicha kufika hiyo wakati. Uh -huh. So that utapata kutoka saa kama saa ile ho. Mm -hmm tukiwapa kwa mlango ni kiandika jina yangu mm. mtu ako like oh kuomboka 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 mm. ni wewe ama mm. so mm. so ndio tu afford this maneno yeah, okay. wazazi wakija kunipatia ile option ya kufanya vile nataka hiyo mm -hmm. maswadi mingi nitapunguza kwa community Absolutely. Kweli, so tuna tuna tunashukuru tuna sana kwa serikali yetu ya Kenya ile kasi yetu wanajaribu mm -hmm. to support mm -hmm. um, na sisi tumechitolea mm -hmm. kama madaktari hawatuelewi saidi mm -hmm. tuwapatie message ya ino inaofa mm -hmm kuhusu maisha yetu kwa sababu ni sisi wao wanataka tu to fit in mm -hmm. but at the end of the day nikija kufika 17 years 20 mm -hmm. documentation zangu sitakuaje kwa sababu nikitoa id yangu sasa hii nikisema mimi naitoa kumboka Francisca mm -hmm. watu wako eh Francisca tena imetokea wapi ndio maana nika drop hiyo jina mm -hmm. so kwa mboka kibagendi unapata at least na kwa kwangu ni rahisi mm -hmm kufanya shughuli zangu ni okay. pesa ni yeah, fungu account yeah, nayo vitu kama hizo yeah, yeah. sasa hii serikali yetu ya Kenya inataka tuwe na na huduma namba huduma namba hizo document zangu zote you know hizo document zangu zote so kutakuwa na hizo maswadi mingi but kama hospitali zetu madaktari zetu wanaweza kuwa bold enough waambie wazazi wetu zasila wanataka kutufanyia hizo operations waambie wazazi wetu hapana kuna mtoto mwenye anaitwa intersex na sasa hii tunawajua wako so huu mtoto unaweza muruhusu advice mzazi huu mtoto unaweza muruhusu akae mpaka wakati ata decide kukuwa yeye ndio nani sile wakati atajisikia yeye ni mwanaume kweli mm -hmm. sasa kutoka hapo itakuwa sawa kuendelea okay. so it is okay. better for our doctors to mm -hmm. advise our parents okay. vile tunafaa kukua kweli yeah. now uh, sydney ukiona hapa kwa kuna zile statistics nasema um, uh, only 5% of intersex individuals recognize themselves as intersex while others were confused about their status asilimia 5 peke yake nchini kenya najigundua kama wale kwa na hiyo hali na wengine wote wamechanganyikiwa kidogo. Pengine uh, opinion yako ni gani kuhusiana na vitu kama hizi? Na sasa kumekuwa na societies mingi uh, organizations kama sasa yenu ambayo pia sasa inawaleta kwa karibu. Ah, uh, kusema kweli um huo inakuwa ngumu sana for intersex person mm -hmm. kujielewa. Mm -hmm. Most of them are confused. Mm -hmm. Kitu ya kwanza ni discrimination. Kuna harassment, kuna stigma, pia wao inachangia so unapata kweli mi kama mimi vile ni najihisi mm -hmm. najihisi mimi ni mwanaume okay lakini nikitoka pale nje unakutana na mambo mengi hadi unafika ukifika kwa nyumba unajifungia unajiuliza sasa mimi ni kitu ya aina gani mm -hmm. sasa hata mtu akikuuliza unaogopa kusema okay i'm john cause vile utasema john mm -hmm. anaanza kusema eh na hiyo sauti yako hata ujamea ndevu sijui mm -hmm. nini mm -hmm. so unakuwa confused yeah. unapata hata security, security yako inakuwa at threat. Mm -hmm. Ni ile unataka tu kwa kwa nyumba umejifungia na sasa mm -hmm. maisha vile hali iko sahi. Lazima utoke nje utafute. Mm -hmm. Aya, ukifika kwa mambo na vitambilisho kwa mboka amegusia. Inakuchanganya kabisa. Mm -hmm. Uwezi kuwa hata na account. Okay. Hata Mpesa peke yake ni shida. Me I've been like nimeshikwa mara mbili because of withdraw pesa kwa Mpesa. Mm -hmm. Pesa ni yangu, simu ni yangu, majina nimepewa mm -hmm. ni yangu lakini vile mtu akiniangalia mm -hmm angalie zile majina ziko kwa document mm -hmm. anaona tofauti so birth mm -hmm. certificate yako iko na jina kike ndio sio sydney uh -uh. sydney sa sydney okay sydney mm -hmm. um nili adopt hiyo jina okay, okay. na so far mm -hmm. na e, nimeanza process ya name change david kila kitu yeah, kila kitu mm -hmm. i think 
hata inaweza kuwa iko ready because okay. it takes like four four ah, months okay, perfect yeah. Yeah. okay nice in addition so, yeah mm -hmm. um serikali yetu despite the fact afya ndio ya kwanza mm -hmm. na sisi kama inter sex persons tunakubali mm -hmm. afya yetu ndio kitu ya kwanza mm -hmm. but pia documentation zetu mm -hmm. in terms of one part certificate yeah. now there is in kenya yeah. part certificate ndio kila kitu Kweli. na kama part certificate ndio kila kitu mm -hmm. tunataka serikali yetu ya, ya kupitia kwa ministry ya pure of statistics mm -hmm. and registrations of persons watupatie hiyo ruhusa mm -hmm. mtoto intersex amezaliwa na hospitali wame confirm kuli mm -hmm. mtoto intersex mm -hmm. wacha watupatie time okay hiyo ya m and f mm -hmm. tu tupatiwe time Kweli. so that sasa zile unaenda kuprocess kwa sababu certificate part certificate ndio kila kitu sasa zile unaanza kuprocess vitu zako at least inapatikana iko sawa mm -hmm. um tumefika mahali like pia kuna documentation zingine tunataka tunataka mm -hmm. mfano kama passport mm -hmm. inakuwa ni noma tu sana kuja sasa hiyo passport because kwa hiyo passport iko na M and F mm -hmm. you know and then kuna hizo questions mingi eh hey, wewe you are yeah, you are physical yeah, appearance yeah. na documentation ni yeah. vitu mbili tofauti really. na kama ni vitu mbili tofauti mm -hmm. mimi nimecha saa 2016 na mm -hmm. ni when mm -hmm. but ni ni pa, passport mpaka saa hii ipata kwa sababu unapelea kwa hiyo nyaya usi mpaka juu urudishwe chini urudishwe juu so they put a passport mpaka saa hii yeah. despite the fact nimecha saa kila kitu okay but kwa sababu wewe ni nani uh -huh. na document ni nini okay you know? na pengine ushaambiwa solutions kwenda kwa nani ya kumuoni ndo pengine upate passport mpita hizo njia zote uh, ni kweli uh -huh. wanataka kuni subject kwa uh, testis kidogo okay. senye okay. sinafaa ufanye hospitali okay. which are very expensive okay. yes yeah. Yeah. very expensive moja yeah. yeah. tena na 37000 37000 ndalipa nyumba ni kule yeah, yeah, nifanya yeah, shughuli zingine yeah, ama niende na end of the day ni kwa afya yeah, sina issue afya. yoyote yenye yeah. nafaa kuona daktari mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so pia tu, kwa hizo ministries zingine mm -hmm. tafadhali tukifika hapo pia ni vizuri mm -hmm, pia mm -hmm. watusaidie sana okay. ya mwisho ndio uliza another question mm -hmm. kama iko education okay um umeulizwa ya watu kukosa kujijua ah mm -hmm. uh, jinsi yangu ndio imekuwa na session yetu ya kwanza Kenya kutoka nje kuanza ku advocate for the rights of intersex persons uh -huh, Kenya uh -huh, uh -huh. from 2013 okay. you know okay. but lazima tufanye groundwork ndio sasa ifike mali kama hapa tunaweza ka mm -hmm. wewe sitoka nowhere tu kuja yes, kwa tv sema ni intersex person yeah, yeah. lazima kuna lot of work to be done so we that at the end of the day ukija mm -hmm. kama mali kama hapa mm -hmm. unajua ni nini unafaa kupeana kwa community yetu mm -hmm. ni nini watu wanataka kusikia kutoka kwako okay. so minister of education hizo uh, shirika zetu zote so saidiane tu sana kwa sababu okay. unapata kama intersex issues sinaseleto kwa syllabus mm -hmm. itasaidia sana watu mm -hmm. kujua from the word go mm -hmm. kweli kweli so that Shukran. to punguze number mm -hmm. of dropouts kwa mm -hmm. intersex persons mm -hmm. shukran yes to add on something yeah sure on just a quick one yeah, before so unapata like uh, when you may apply for a name change mm -hmm. sai ko unajua iko ready mm -hmm. but unapata bado hiyo id iko very confused because okay. our toy gender marker okay. so the gender marker remains female whereby bado wanakuweka kwa mitego mingi because okay. that's john utemesi uh -huh. uh -huh. then pale kwa gender marker miaka f ni female ni female na ni so john unapata, utemesi so yeah. ni confusion sana so ndo tunaomba pia mm. gava mm. kama inaweza angalia vitu kaa hizo yeah. as yeah. an intersex person kama yeah. ana go through that process mm. At least the gender marker when they are kubali kubali. Ni vizuri pe serikali sasa ina shughulikia maneno sio. Ah shukrani. Shukrani sana kwa kuja studio na ni vizuri tena serikali pia ina shughulikia kwa sababu tumeona so many cases of these things happening. For example sasa unapata katika ndoa nikikuuliza bana kuamboka wewe katika ndoa utachagua nani? Pengine a quick one. Katika ndoa. You're a man. Yeah. Sydney. I'm a man. Na, na, you see mkona choices eh? yeah. so i think the government also should now come and support you guys yes. thank you so much for coming thank you so much all right that's all we had for you right here on morning live and remember as intersex persons they also have the right and the government is now tightening all the loopholes and ensuring actually they have these normal lifestyles everyone and trust me they are very happy people very bubbly and of course just within us all over the world that's all we had for you right here my name is nick mudimba joyce somondi we're coming up next with full circle stay tuned